Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I have a crazy Artemis with me. She's so fast um, but she's doing really really good. So uh, anyway I'm going to be quick with this intro because she is crazy as a Christmas tree. Um, <laughs> but yeah so today I'm going to be showing you well this is part two of my autumnal Halloween snaky decorations um, sort of little tiny series that I've been doing. I did a part one a couple of weeks ago um, with those little pumpkin garlands and then um, today I'm going to be showing you an autumnal Halloween wreath and how I've made that snaky inspired. So uh, yeah without any further ado I should just get straight on with the video and thanks very much for watching. So as you can see here, I've got these little fake jelly snake things. Um, they're actually supposed to be quite stretchy and whatnot. Um, as you can see, they're quite wobbly and whatnot. So yeah, anyway, so what I'm going to do with these is, even though I know I've got a purple one there, I am going to paint them all the same colour purple. So I'm going to be using this acrylic paint here. It says amethyst and... Um, it just says artiste on it so it's acrylic all-purpose paint so i'm just going to put some of that in into this freshly cleaned pot I've painted all of these snakes but as you can see it's not really taking very well so I do have some PVA glue so I'm just going to put some of that on if I can I don't know if I've opened this before so I'm just going to put that in there and it might make the uh, it might make the paint stick a bit better hopefully so I'll just give that a stir and see what happens I actually used to do this in GCSE art when I was painting um, like paper mache models and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to leave that bit to dry on these um, and then just try and do a second coat in a bit. Got these three all painted up. Um, the other two were just a bit too shabby looking. So I chucked them. So I think it will look pretty good once it's done. So as you can see, I've got my wreath here and I've got my snakes and some leaves. So I'm just going to get on with putting the leaves on this wreath and then put the snakes on. This is what I've done so far and now I think what I'm going to do is apply my snakes so yeah so I'm going to apply these snakes onto here and hopefully it will look somewhat pretty so this is my snaky wreath all complete you can see the snakes are all glued on there so yeah so this is my wreath all done and dusted and i'm really pleased with the way it turned out looks very autumnal slash halloween so yeah i'm loving it i've just put this ribbon on with this chain and like a hook excuse my horrible nails um so yeah so this hook is just an old earring uh, hook and i've just tied this uh or clipped this chain to it so uh, yeah so that's it and i'm gonna just go and hang it up this is my autumnal halloween wreath and i'm really pleased with it it's uh just hanging from a chain there and i've put a bit of a uh, bow around the leaves and that snake i've got my other two snakes there at the bottom but yeah, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out and it just makes me feel really festive 
for this time of year and uh, it's just something quick and easy to make it's fairly simple so yeah so i've got this in my snake room and uh, it's taking pride of place at the moment so, so as you can see from that video i really enjoyed making that autumnal halloween snakey inspired wreath so uh yeah so i really enjoyed making that i think it looks really good i might possibly add some lights to it but um for now i'm just gonna leave it like that hung up so uh yeah i'm i'm really pleased with the way it turned out and it's so simple as well to create so uh, i love this season i love halloween autumn everything just it's a wonderful time of year and uh yeah so that's why i like to get crafting and creating and things so uh anyway so i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer so for now from myself and the squiggly artemis it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching crazy girl Ha <laughs> ha